What's up guys? So today launches the new segment on the YouTube channel called Cold Butter Reviews. We're going to be reviewing supplements, uh, any fitness gear or any popular trends of workouts or diets or anything. If there's anything specific that you guys want to see, just drop it in the comments below. Uh, if there's any companies out there that see this and they want to send us products as this one did, you can just contact me via email which will be in the description box below. So to jump into the first video, my friend over at Natural Stacks, Ryan, sent us a few supplements to review on the channel and try out. If you guys don't remember Ryan, he was in the fitness park video where on the beach. He showed me a few workouts that I've never done before and helped me out there. Got to talk to him a little bit and then he sent us a few supplements to get on the channel. So Natural Stacks is an all natural company. Every one of their supplements is completely natural and they try to use the minimum amount of ingredients. Um, to get what they want. With that said, they also added some few ingredients into this natural protein that we're gonna review today that I think are really cool and I haven't seen in very many proteins on the market. So to start off, we're gonna go over everything that's in it and tell you exactly what it is, because some of these things might be unknown as they were to me when I first read a nutritional label. So there are two flavors. We do have a vanilla and we do have a chocolate. We're going over the vanilla because that is what they sent us. Um, yeah, that's what they sent us. If you guys want to get the chocolate because you are a chocolate fan, just know that the serving size is a little bit bigger because the scoop is a little bit bigger due to them adding the cocoa powder and it changes the macros a little bit. All of the macros are actually just bumped up a little bit, including the protein. So if you are getting that, you're going to get a little bit less servings. I think it's like one or two less servings than if you have the vanilla. So starting from the top, um, like I said, we are going to go down the vanilla. So the serving size for one scoop is 19.1 grams as far as where those 19.1 grams come from. Uh, if you jump down to lower on the nutritional label, you'll see 18 grams of a two to one ratio whey and collagen complex. And then you also see a half a gram coming from the bovine colostrum. And then the rest of it is just ground Madagascar vanilla bean. There's no like artificial flavors or anything that they, their flavoring system is literally just grinding up the Madagascar vanilla bean and you can see that in the other ingredients because it's not an active ingredient. Going down further on the nutritional label, we do see 24 servings. It does only come in a one pound container right now. I do anticipate that they would add more for the weightlifting community if that's the market they're really trying to press. We're gonna to wanna to see two, maybe four pound containers of this. With that being said, we still get 24 servings with vanilla and we still get 21 servings with chocolate. And so jumping down, we're gonna skip over the macros for now and we'll come back to those. Jumping down to the active ingredients, the two to one ratio whey collagen complex. Of course, most of us know what whey is. Um, it does have a patented pro serum whey protein concentrate and that's where the 12 grams from. Um, the two to one ratio is for every two grams of whey, there is one of the collagen. This pro serum whey complex is a patented one that comes from completely grass fed cows. Um, so you have higher levels of some of your proteins that help fight off diseases and help uh, circulate your blood better and everything else. And we'll get into those in a little bit. Next is the, the collagen, it's hydrolyzed bovine collagen. So there's no real recommended dose. This seems like a pretty good dose to compare it to the protein with the two to one ratio. Coll this collagen does help build more lean muscle. It's also gonna help um, give you extra levels of the amino acids that help rebuild your tendons and your joints. So it's gonna help with your longevity of your joints and your tendons as you're training. So we all know after a long time of training, it can damage your joints, it could damage the tendons and everything. You get sore joints, but this will help reconstruct those and help keep those and make them last longer. The bovine colstrum is also known as first milk. It's when a mammal, um, in this case specifically a cow, gives birth. For the first few weeks, it produces a different kind of milk that has higher in protein antibodies, which help fight diseases, so it increases your immune system, and it also helps speed up recovery time, because um, you know baby, babies are constantly growing, so faster recovery time is needed so they can grow their strength as they're sleeping and everything and grow quickly in their first few years of life. There is no recommended dose for this right now, but this supplement is on par with other supplements in this category or that have this ingredient. So even though it is not listed as an active ingredient, the ground up Madagascar bean has been proven to decrease inflammation. Now let's jump back up and go down through the macros. So we see our calories, 77.2. Our fats, very low in fat, it's like 0 0.06, um, 0 0.04 coming from saturated fats. Your cholesterol, you're looking at about 14 milligrams. Not a big deal. Total carbohydrates, only 1.4 grams. So it is low in carbs. Now your protein is only 15.1 grams. 
And this kind of shocks me because whenever you're looking in the weightlifting community, all of our proteins are anywhere from 22 to 60 grams of protein. So you would need to either double scoop this or do what I do, which is add it to another protein, and I'll explain why later. But um, it, it does seem a little underdosed, but it is something that you can double scoop very easily, being that the serving size is so small and it only takes six ounces of water to mix one scoop. So moving on, sodium, potassium, just little amounts of those. Then we get into the other macros that come from, you know, the, the collagen and the colstrum. And those are things you might not have heard before. So immunoglobins. Immunoglobins are the antibodies in your blood that are going to fight off diseases and keep you healthy. But what most people don't realize is that whenever you do long periods of intense training, it actually lowers the levels of immunoglobins inside your blood. So increasing those levels with the grass-fed cows, which have more, and the colstrum, that first milk that I talked about earlier, which has extra in it too, it's going to keep you healthier so you can continue to lift. You don't have to take days off for being sick. Now, normal whey proteins do have this because it is in normal whey, but this protein does have higher levels of it, and that's why they show you that they do have it here on the nutritional label. Next, also um, a result of taking the colstrum and the collagen, as well as the patented whey, we also get higher levels of lactoferrin, which helps the body also fight off diseases, also helps with tissue rebuilding and prevents further damage and also helps the body process iron more efficiently. Next on the list is serum albumin. So this is a transfer protein that's going to help circulate the nutrients to your blood so you're getting more nutrients to your, um, to your body tissues for recovery, for a faster recovery. It's also gonna help you maintain a good pressure, which helps the blood flow as it should. It helps the, like I said, the nutrients get to your body tissue faster. Other than that, we do have 18 of the 22 amino acids. Um, so you get eight out of your nine essential amino acids out of this, and you are also getting all your non-essential ones that are gonna help with muscle recovery and everything like that. And that basically covers everything that's in it. So being all natural, we are looking at a paleo-friendly protein. We are looking at uh, no added sugar, no gluten, and no GMOs. So it is a pretty healthy protein as people would classify it as being all natural. Uh, now we'll get into how it actually mixes and how it tastes. And we'll go over how I think it works, um, like how I think the effects are personally from using it for a little while, and how I personally choose to take it. So this is the tub that they sent me. Now this does only take, for one serving, um, it does only take six ounces of water to mix it with. I still recommend using a shaker because it's a protein, it usually is a little bit thicker, but honestly, you might even be able to get away with just using a glass and spoon. So I'm gonna get my six ounces of water, mix this up, and I'll pour it into a glass so you can see exactly how it mixes. As you guys can see, there is no really clumps in it. There is a little bit of floating around since they use um, fresh Madagascar bean. And as you can see, I did only use six ounces of water. So it does mix pretty well for being a protein and only six ounces of water, but it is a pretty small scoop. And like I said, if you're gonna double scoop it or mix it with another protein, you're gonna take more. Now, as far as how it tastes, They don't use any sweeteners or anything. Like I said, they just put the ground Madagascar bean in there. And I have not tasted the chocolate. I'm assuming the chocolate has a little bit more flavor. Um, this isn't a bad flavor, but it's not really a good flavor. It's more of just like really bland. And then it has like this little bit of a bitter aftertaste that leaves a weird texture in your mouth. So their flavoring system isn't the best, but it is only six ounces. So you could crush this really easy and just chug it. And honestly, you could probably mix both scoops in six ounces. And it's not a bad flavor, it's something that's just a little bland and would take some getting used to. Now as far as how it works, I have found that I've trained on it and I've trained off of it, keeping the same intensity and I've tried at different times, um, trying to keep the same dieting and everything and really only changing this in my day. And I have found that uh, it does actually, the recovery time is a little bit faster. I don't seem to get as sore as I did before I'm taking it or when I'm not taking it. So I do think the recovery time is faster. Now, like I said, most of us want more protein than 15 grams. And I get that, I do too. So 
What I do is I double scooped it a few times and just chugged it like I said. And then one other thing that I found, I added it to my 100% whey protein, a chocolate flavor, 100% whey protein, and you really can't taste it at all. So you don't get any of that bitter taste or anything. You get the taste from the other one. Now that takes out the all natural factor of it if you choose to mix it with another protein, but it tastes a little bit better. I'm getting more protein and I'm still getting the colostrum and the collagen that you get out of the natural stacks. And that's really why I wanted to try this product was the, col was the collagen and the colostrum. I take it more as a protein additive, but it's not that bad to where you can't take it by itself, especially if you just want to double scoop it and get more protein. Now, if you're taking it, if you do eat a meal right after you work out, this would be a perfect protein for you because you could eat this, you could drink this while you're eating your meal, still get your essential proteins that you need after your workout, and you'll still get the collagen and you'll still get the colostrum. So this would be a great protein for you because then you're not overloading protein with the meal and the shake because it is lower in protein. So that wraps up this video. We have a few more products from Natural Stacks to review. Thank you again, Ryan, for sending us these products. Like I said, if anybody else wants to send us any products, you can email, you can email me. My email will be in the description box below. Other than that, also in the description box will be all of our social media so you can keep up with all the other reviews and workouts that we're gonna be doing. And we will also have our link to our website down there to where you can buy any t-shirts or tanks that we release. Other than that guys, just like and subscribe and share this video with your friends.